are down at the finish line of the 118th running of the Boston Marathon. We're here in a sunny afternoon on beautiful Boylston Street in Boston's Back Bay. And everyone's so excited. We're here to get some street interviews, see if everyone's here for their first marathon experience, if they're cheering anybody on, or just here to be Boston strong. So is this your first Boston Marathon experience? Yes. Are you having fun? Yes. What's been your favorite part of the day so far? Just watching the people finish strong. Is this your first marathon? Yes, it is. It's very enjoyable. I'm here to support the Boston Strong and the survivors and let the bombing people know that we're still Boston Strong and we're not going to give up the fight. Because I see a lot of people came down here to support and to show that we're not going to let you guys intimidate us. Well, I'm from Boston originally, but I came up from Rhode Island tonight just kind of to be solidarity with the city today. Last year, I was never more proud of the city I'm from. I love the way everybody stood together, kind of everybody contributed to what happened last year, and I just wanted to be here today. Well, I feel like the energy is amazing here. People are, are not afraid, and it's just been a great, a great day. We see you guys have these great signs, and this has become such a famous phrase. Yeah, you know, I have a young daughter, 13 years old, and, and she, you know, she gets very emotional when she hears a story about Martin Richard, and I heard she actually helped me make the sign last night. What's been your favorite part of today so far? Watching an American win. Well, I'm proud of uh, Boston and all the people coming together and all being friendly. Okay, we're here with Tara Lightteller. And she just crossed the finish line. How are you feeling? Exhausted, but thrilled. Anything you'd like to say to the city of Boston, then I promise I'll let you go get your medal. Uh, like like uh, Big Poppy said, this is our effing city.